Hi everyone, it's Graphics Calculator Gamer, and today I'm going to show you how to put Game Boy Advance games onto your TI Inspire CX CAS calculator. To do this, you will need to have Endless installed, which I already have a video on, and you will also need to get the TI Inspire Connect software, which I'll link in the description below. Okay, so this is the Game Boy Advance emulator that I use. It's called GPSP Inspire, and it allows you to run ROMs that have been converted into TNS format. And so far, every single game that I've used has worked. So we need to download that. Once that's downloaded, we need to find some ROMs so that we can use those on our calculator. Okay, so here are some Game Boy Advance ROMs. Uh, pick as many as you can fit on your calculator, really, like as many as you want to play. Um, for now, I'm just going to download Mario Kart Super Circuit so that I can show you what to do. So, all you have to do is open it, click save game, and then it'll automatically download a zip file to your computer. So, once that's downloaded, open up your downloads and you see. GPSP, Inspire, and Mario Kart Super Surf, or whatever ROMs or ROM you've downloaded. So you need to extract both of these. The built in extractor for Windows will work fine with this, but I also have 7 zip, so extract. There's our GBA file and extract this. Okay, so here are two extracted files. You can go ahead and delete these if you want. So there's our GBA file. It should definitely have .gba after it. And these are the files that we need. We can go ahead and delete the readme document because they're not important. All we need are these three files. So, once you've done that, connect your calculator to the computer. Take the cord that you need and plug it into your calculator. Then take the USB end of the cord and plug it into the computer. Once your calculator is plugged in, go ahead and open up TI Computer Link as it's called for the Inspires. If it's your first time opening it, then it'll come up with all these things you need to allow, like access to networks and stuff. Okay, so click refresh if it doesn't come up straight away, then hit select. Okay, so this is my calculator. I've got some games already installed. Um, so I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it Game Boy Advance. This is just to keep my calculator neat and everything's in one spot. Okay, so before we transfer our files onto the calculator, there is something you need to do. Open up the um, GBA ROM and you need to rename it and put .tns 
on the end. It will come up with this warning and just click yes. Okay, so now it's a TNS file and it will successfully transfer over to our calculator. To use the GBA emulator, first the Game Boy Advance BIOS must be downloaded and transferred onto the calculator. To do this, download. And then once it's downloaded, show in folder. Extract. Then, as with the Game Boy Advance, ROMs, rename it with .tns. Now is ready to transfer onto the calculator. Open this and find your Game Boy Advance folder, so GPSPNSpire. Go ahead and open that in here. Here it is. GPSP NSPY. And we need to copy all of these folders into the calculator. So just drag and drop all of them. It won't take very long. Okay, so that once that's done, you'll get a little message on your calculator saying that they were transferred successfully. And, um,. What folder they have put in and that it was received and all that. Um, then go into your ROM. What I normally do is rename the launcher so that with a one in front, so that way it will appear at the top of my folder. This is especially useful if you have a lot of ROMs because. Once you're on your calculator, you don't actually need to touch the ROMs at all. You just need to open the launcher, which will then open the ROMs anyway. So, put this in. Okay, so, that document should say that it was received. Now it is necessary to transfer the GBA BIOS onto the calculator. You can exit out of this now and go and have a look at what is on your calculator.